<clears throat> Hi, everybody. I don't know who's watching or if anybody's watching right now, but um, I'm going to go ahead and read some of my poetry for you. Um, if you saw me at all recently on the Transplanet tour, um, I'm going to be reading some of the same stuff, but I'm also going to be reading some newer stuff and some stuff maybe people aren't as familiar with. So well, be excited for that, I guess. Um, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start reading. Um, this poem is called The Counter Public Woman. I teethe, I crawl, the heart beats slowly. There is always time. You smell smoke, you are creeped out. I die, I die, door handle and die from the taste of it. We are in a house together feeling the walls, feeling the air on the carpet. To my tongue, I smell smoke, nothing strange, Nothing unusual. My body, ha ha. Your body, ha ha. Who'd have thought? Who'd have cared? My hair is streaked with hours. I walk out into the wind and think of you standing in the wind. How you feel yourself. Your little lips. This kind of social. This kind of forest fire. I am only gone from you whenever I sleep and I wake up sad. There is so much loss in sleep. The sky is pink in sleep. The skin is enlarged in sleep. Every dream is a dream about having a body. Every body is the sound of alienation. Hi, everyone. Looks like a bunch of people just joined while I was in the middle of reading that. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to continue to read some a poem from this, which is from the recent Transplanet tour that I went on with uh, Joss Charles, Manuel uh, Atoro Abreu, uh, Di Dragonetti, and Sarah Woods. <clears throat> so pretty cool stuff. Um, let's see. This poem is called The Moon is Trans. The Moon is Trans. From this moment forward, the moon is trans. You don't get to write about the moon anymore unless you respect that. You don't get to talk to the moon anymore unless you use her correct pronouns. You don't get to send men to the moon anymore unless their job is to bow down before her and apologize for the sins of the earth. She is waiting for you, pulling at you softly, telling you to shut the fuck up already, please. Scientists theorize the moon was once a part of the earth that broke off when another planet struck it. Eve came from Adam's rib, etc. Do you believe in the power of not listening to the inside of your own head? I believe in the power of you not listening to the inside of your own head. This is all upside down. We should be talking about the ways that blood is similar to the part of outer space between the earth and the moon, but we're busy drawing it instead. The moon is often described as dead, though she is very much alive. The moon has not known the feeling of not wanting to be dead for any extended period of time in all of her existence, but she is not delicate and she is not weak. She is constantly moving away from you the only way she can. She never turns her face from you because of what you might do. She will outlive everything you know. I'm going to read some poems now from my book, I'm Alive, It Hurts, I Love It, which is available at boosthouse.com. These are all untitled. You breathe from a garden in your neck and I wear myself out believing in you. There's a place called Woman where we live and it is filled with tree stumps and bones and sunlight. It me into existence. In your car, I cried for the first time in a year with my head against the window and the mountains pounding into the glass. All right, I said, all right, this. I say every day that I don't die. We both don't die, and that's great. So great that we didn't die yet, I'm always thinking. 
There's a pool of water in me that lasts forever. It comes out from my eyes in bits whenever I think about how far we've come. My body drinks from it. Our love is radical. Our love fucks shit up. Our love songs. Our love breathes. Don't be embarrassed or shame yourself. I'm in a bed and then I'm the second coolest person I know. I know you probably look in the mirror and see things that aren't there. I do too. I dream in color and think in black and white. Everything is good or on fire, and sometimes it's good because it's on fire. I've attained self-awareness, and now everything seems bleak. All of my thoughts just trail off into the next set of thoughts. You have nothing to be afraid of. We're all alive by or another until we're not. It's not scary. 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 It's not scary if you say it enough times. I'm several things. The sky opening up, a door closing, a vibration, or vibration. and drank a glass of milk like a fucking dweeb. Like a girl in the way that clouds feel like water. I feel the luckiest leaf in the world. My hands come together of their own accord and do things like watch and listen for all of the cha changes that are always approaching. I light of God and I have nightmares every time I sleep about running into my dad in public with makeup on my face, paint on my nails, woman in my heart. I'm going to die one day and he will too. He doesn't care because heaven is waiting. When I think of it, I think of a darkness that goes on forever, except I don't think that's true. I'm sure non-existence is gray. It probably is not. And do a bunch of cool shit. Don't fuck up my early 20s so spectacularly. I am the bike lane in the margin of my own mind. To rain, I can feel it. I know because I am happy. The sky is going to look beautiful as fuck. The trees are going to give the falling drops to make music with themselves on. I'm a baby who has been alive for 27 years. I'm rolling around on my back making dinosaur no noises. I'm trying to believe anyone could ever think I'm cool. The second coolest thing about me is how gay I am. The coolest thing about me is that I am a woman. Everything I love about myself is everything we are taught to hate and disregard. I'm a sculpture of a goddess accidentally carved into the side of a cliff by millions of years of pounding ocean waves. So much pain and salt, so much water and life. Every day I used to wish I were dead, but now all I want is to live. I want to be all of the things I am all at once until I die. I want to feel everything. This is personal. I say goodnight to myself every night, and the way I do this is I relax my muscles and I cry. Sometimes I don't listen to good music or touch my don't feel like I do. Sometimes I do the right thing and my sheets become blue and twisted like the ocean after a storm. Tonight I'm staying awake as long as I possibly can. Tonight I unimpaled my body from a steel gate when I said she, not he. It is getting so late now. Everything in my city is closed and I am quiet. There's a man on the radio screaming about immigration ruining his country. I want him to suffer. I want to stop myself from suffering. My heart is microwaved styrofoam stuffed between my teeth. In five minutes, I'm going to wake up and say I love you to the sky. This is our time. I want your feet on my hands and your head deep in a cloud. I am dizzy with you. Holes of light come apart between us, all queer and laughter, all gay and uproar, all insane and growth. 
I am obsessed with your hands on me and the wind on me and the sun. Everything else can leave me alone. My skin is quiet. I like it that way. No panic, no fear, no violent force to rip me out of our dream. This is reclamation of love, of language, of a space to exist in without blood in our mouths. I call you, you. You call me, me. We ruin everything completely and make new bodies from the mess. Nothing more beautiful than this ever fell from anywhere. We exist. We barely exist. We exist loudly in our softness, wind slapping palm leaves against dying firework sounds, the sighing of the ocean in the middle of the night. I've figured out what my past means. I've driven my car off the side of a cliff in 500 dreams. I've held my hands out into the night air while laughing and screaming hysterically. I said, fuck you in person to exactly one cop. I've been grainy black and white closed circuit camera footage. I've been silence preempted by coma. I've climbed over more walls than walked through doors. I've felt a lump in the back of my throat every night for five years. I've learned that you can will a rash into existence. I've kissed God on her dumb, ugly lips. I've seen the sun come up more than 10, but less than 50 times. I've revoked my personhood at various junctures for different reasons. I've been both a girl who thought she was a boy and a girl who thought she was a woman. I've been wrong about something new every day of my life. I've been whole for 10 second intervals. I've listened to the same songs over and over until they've become like dirt on the walls of my bedroom. I've cried to two sitcoms, one car commercial, half of all the movies I've ever seen, the end of every book I've read, lots of poems, something my mom said, and you touching my hand like it was never gone. I have come into my own and fallen back out. I've quit pills and cigarettes, but not alcohol or hating myself. I've discovered the vast space between incomplete and complete. I've built houses there that I can inhabit when I'm sad. I've memorized more and more of them each day. I've become a person who is able to fall asleep in her own skin without first having to remove it. I've survived the process. Okay, I'm gonna read some newer stuff now. Let's see. Okay, okay most of these are untitled. Uh, I'll obviously let y'all know otherwise. Um, okay. I dream of horses eating cops. I have so much hope for the future. Or no, I don't. Who knows the sound a head makes when it is asleep? My dad was a demon, but so was the man in uniform who pulled him over and harassed him for the crime of being brown. There are demons everywhere, dad said, and he was right, but not in the way that he meant it. The sky over San Bernardino was a brilliant blue when the winds kicked in. All the fences and trash cans and smog scattered themselves, and the mountains were on fire every day. I couldn't wait to die or be killed my woman body trapped in a dream. I couldn't wait to wake up and ride off into the sunset, but there isn't much that is new anywhere. The same violence swallows itself and produces bodies and names for bodies. I name my body girl of my dreams. I name my body proximity. I name my body full of hope despite everything. I name my body dead girl who hasn't died yet. I hope I come back as an elephant. I hope we all come back as animals and eat our fill. I hope everyone gets everything they deserve. I turn pain into a desert with my own teeth. We live in an impossible place where God is real and a woman, where I am real and a woman. The tree branches are always moving 
the four sky becoming too much for itself. I do the same thing in bed as I try to wake up each day. When I turn to the closet mirror, my body is called into existence. When you look at me in public, my body is a cloud, torn like cloth by a fucked up sun. I clench my jaw and draw my shoulders back. I smile in the light of disaster and cry in the driver's seat on every single freeway in California. The surrounding land expands like a panic attack chest, trying its best to breathe. When it finally exhales, I am the moment a dream becomes lucid, when everything briefly makes sense. I am saying I and walking up some hillside where my body becomes wind, and I love wind and I'm so happy and sad. I would live another year if for no other reason than to feel it again. I believe in ritual. I listen to myself in the car with the window halfway down. I imagine I'd fly out and tumble down the road like a scrap of trash. I'd be the cutest piece of trash in this city. Instead, I wash my hands and train my voice to sound like soft gusts against cold glass. I push a lawnmower over my chin. I paint my face with white and red and white and more white. I draw black lines to highlight separation. I pull my body inside out and fall in love with the feeling of not dying. All this labor is like some kind of prayer to prove I deserve to exist in these spaces, to prove I deserve to exist in space, to prove I deserve to exist. Okay, this one is called When You're a Trans Woman Who Writes. When you're a trans woman who writes, people want to know things like what you're doing to fix your body and how your body is wrong and how much it hurts to be wrong and all the labor you put into making it not wrong. They want your suffering on display as long as it only implicates your body, as long as it only implicates people they've never met or people they've never been. I am here for you, but you don't want to know about the violence inside your own words and inside your lack of words. You don't want to know how I feel when I'm around you, how I'm always moving between non-existence and brutal visibility. How the lightest wind from your breath on my skin makes me feel like I am dying. How I wouldn't need to wear this makeup if it weren't for what you create and uphold. You don't want to listen to me saying I am beautiful, I am important, I am good. I don't have to be brave, I don't have to be strong. I deserve happiness. I will not turn my suffering inward for you anymore, for you to consume my burning flesh. I will start fires elsewhere until you can't ignore what I am destroying. I will keep talking about it until you can't ignore what I am saying. My face bashed in in the smell of plastic. I am so pretty. I am so pretty. Look how pretty I am with God slowly drifting, drifting out of my heart like dry ice under a ceiling fan. It's 1993 in the tips of my fingers again. It feels so good. I dream of rapture. I dream of war. I dream of my mouth forming a blanket around my most secret girlish thoughts. I learn to become small under the shadow of what love I know. It's always almost Christmas here. The mountains never stop moving even after we're dead. I think about everything forever in the light of that. It doesn't hurt. Shoot me into the center of the sun before you say one more word about what I am. I am whatever. I am here and there. I am fuck all. I am produced and reproduced in your image. When I look into your eyes, I see my reflection as I haven't seen it in my own mirror in years. Kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. Good job, A plus. My fingers snap like twigs under the waterfall of your voice. There is no resistance. I am alone. I am many things and people, but I am alone. You take my percentages in your mouth and pass over the ocean until you find a place to deposit me. I writhe like an ant colony. I squirm like a forest in a controlled burn. Oh God, where are you? 
All is full of love, but it never shows itself. And when it does, it is power and people die. Love me, 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 love me like a rain at the end of a drought until my body fucks itself off into nothingness. The woman is about hair gathering on the ground in between the breasts that move up and down with each breath in suffering. In 20 years, I will exist. Even if I'm dead in 20 years, I will exist more than I do now. I shave my legs in the shower until my ass goes numb. The water gathers all of me around and says, that's what you get. The same way men say that's just how the world works, as if they're happy about it. I make a prayer for you in front of the closet mirror where the light from inside moves around the room to see itself reflected. The woman sees herself into everything and nothing. You can open the news and read anything you want to. That's the magic of being alive here. You can even read about yourself long after you're dead. Throw my body in the garbage where it belongs. Surround it with 500 cameras circling around, snapping one frame at a time as flowers push their way through the skin. I am in heaven watching this footage with God and she kisses me or my All the clouds and mountains look fake from here. Airplanes mean everything to me. I dream of my old body getting sucked into their engines and spat back out all pretty. There must be some place where this is actually happening. This one's called Temptation. I'm a girl like a skull buried in the sand. I am from the desert where God goes to die by herself. There is hope for me yet. There is hope for me to become a neurotypical deity with fishnets and eyelashes that reach outer space. There is so much hope. I am all for interruptions in breathing and flow because heat is the history that survives the story of becoming a name made from flesh. When you say my name, you bite into something. When you call for me to come, I am already bleeding. Okay, <laughs> this next one is called 5,000 Swinging Girl Dicks. <laughs> 5,000 swinging girl dicks bring everything to a standstill. The girl dicks dance and touch the air around them. I am longing to live in the spaces they leave behind. I want to live where all the girl dicks have been with my girl dick and all my empty space. I want to be filled with what was once filled with girl dick. Is that so much to ask? I like to picture 5,000 swinging girl dicks smashing cheap miniature cardboard buildings like movie monsters makes me laugh like not many things do. I want to live in all that magic girl dick dust. Okay. So what time is it? Okay, I'm gonna read a few more. Um, read a couple more from my book. I briefly considered not being a person I tried to wrap my hands around the dark. I built a skyscraper in the middle of the ocean, and you wouldn't believe it, but I lived there for 400 years. The sound of an old door doing its thing twisted something inside me. I am woman, hear me cry into my pillow every night as the world whispers the way things are. We find spaces to crawl towards and into. We keep the light longing in the distance, we wait for it to fall. I'll burn a book and a flag in the same pile. I don't even care. I gave up thinking that words helped anything a long time ago. Who cares? I'm falling asleep. Who cares? All that matters is love. The sun rises on the same side every day and water goes all over the place. Everything hurts. Help me make it hurt less. Show me that being a person isn't something to run from. Sometimes in a moment of deja vu, I forget where I am and my hands bleed into the bed and the, be and the bed bleeds into the wall. 
There are colors becoming other colors and it doesn't mean anything. This is always happening and we never notice. One layer, what's a layer? We're touching through layers, two tin cans and infinite string in all directions. Talk to me, say something, use words I don't have to go back to college to understand. Do you care that the world is trash? I do, I'm trash. I'm in love with the feeling of it. Can you sustain for me the image of every hair ripped out of my face by the root and flowers planted in their place? If I am inconsistent in my longings, it is because I can't let myself feel like dying every day. Sometimes I give my breath away freely. Other times I am a skeleton at the foot of your bed. When I am not woman enough, I melt all of the mirrors in my mind and float on my back in the liquid, like a wounded wasp on the surface of a suburban swimming pool. I inhale and take in the scent of my own ugly skin and it is springtime and everything is blooming and I want to die. My eyes are open wide, too wide. Holy shit, existing is so difficult. It feels so great. When I go see my family, I wear a mask made from the face I was born with. This is how I earn love. I double check my fingernails and the corners of my eyes for traces of color. I am sand on sand on sand on sand. I am becoming smaller pieces of myself. There is more of me and less of me at the same time. I go into outer space when they say he, him, his. Often I have trouble coming back. It's not hot or cold. The earth looks like nothing. Nobody exists. My body is not a body. I do things anyway. I drive freeways. I say I love you to people who don't know me. I turn purple in myself from it. I say my name quietly and it sounds just like the wind dying against the foothills. Somehow I keep surviving. Okay, I'm going to read a few more from the Transplant Tour Pub. This is untitled. There is a crease in what I say when I say I am a woman. There is a sound that ricochets off the sound of my voice holding itself down. There is a barrier between my tongue and my teeth where who I am lives waiting for the right words to come. No word. I am in the sky saying birds when I mean that bird. I am that, not the sight or the sound or the feeling, but the absence of what was there before. Okay, I'm gonna read one more. This is called A Guide to Reading Trans Literature. We're dying and we're really sad. We keep dying because trans women are supposed to die. This is sad. I don't have words for my body, so I'll say I'm a cloud or a mountain or something pretty that people enjoy. So if I die, people will be like, oh, that's sad. Be sad about that. It's okay to be sad. It is sad when people die. It is sad when people want to die. I sometimes want to die, but I don't. I'm one of the lucky ones. You can feel happy about that. It's okay to feel happy about that. Now pretend this is very serious. History doesn't exist. My body doesn't exist. There's nothing left for you to be complicit in. It's okay for you to feel happy about that. Now pretend I am crying right in front of you, opening that wound up just for you. Now pretend you can feel my pain. Now pretend something in you has been moved, has been transformed. Now pretend you are absolved. All right, and that's it.
Thanks everyone for showing up and watching. Have a good night.